Good evening. Is it Halloween? Good evening. Yikes. I don't remember what his name is. The vampire dad? Oh, gee. Uh, I don't know. He's a vampire dad. The vampire dad. It was like some like extra Shakespearean. It's wild thing. I'll Google it. Don't worry. My phone's broken. Hey, Ellen. Also, hello, hey! John. Look, it's Ellen. How are you tonight, Jonathan? Also, how do the mics sound? Yeah, that's the question. How bad? Dream, daddy. Hey, Bruce. Dads. I will find out in a minute. This guy right here, vampire buddy. Yeah, vampire Hold on. dad. Ready? Ready? Boom! We're here. This guy. Official dream daddy daddies ranked. I don't really care about the ranking. I just need to know his name. All right. So to catch up. Um, I don't have anything in the gallery. Youth youth pastor, pink shirt that's polo him. is Joseph. Yep, Joseph. I remember that. Damien. Oh, that's Damien. Damien is vampire daddy. Okay. Brian is the rival dad, the chubby one who argues with us. Oh, this one here. About having okay. a better kid. Mm -hmm. Matt is the cool coffee shop owner. Yeah, that's him. We like him. We're gonna. Craig is the guy with the baby. Uh, Our friend, the Asian guy. He's not on screen right now. Yeah, none of them are. Uh, Robert is the one we did last game. It's not Chad Dulor. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Uh, but, um, um, Robert is the one we did last game. Yeah, we that's this one right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dirty guy. At your behest. Yep, and Hugo is the teacher. Oh, yeah, him, right here. Yeah. Realized you were on my phone. Yeah. I was like, why is my banking app up on your phone? Mine wasn't working. Oh, I was in your bank account stealing your money. Good luck. No. So who's ready for some dream daddy dating simulator? Why are you just like a vampire today? I want to suck your blood. No, thank you. Time to do a crack stand. Yes, Axel. Absolutely. <sighs> Uh, who was it that said that? I think it was Nightly? I thought you made it up. No, I read it off of chat. I think oh, Nightly might have been said Nightly it. was either Nightly or Dulor. Hmm. One of those two. That reminds me. Where's Nightly? Daddy. She's probably hanging out with Hasty. Probably. I know what we're doing Thursday night. <laughs> that face of, oh, come on. I know, I know it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, it was Icarus. Was it Mike that came up with it? Go, Mike. I'm proud. Alright, so you get the mouse control because it's too far away for me. Alright, we're gonna. Oh, Steve Irwin, that was our character. Yeah. Dad book quiz? Oh, yeah, oh, we were making we a. Uh, yeah, we were. Was it? Yeah. No. No, no, I'm confused. Yeah, no, that was the All most right. recent one. Oh, we yeah. We were making our dad book profile. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go, dad oh, book. I am, I'll get our social media popping. We're oh, fine. Lord. All right. 3.22 a.m. on July 29th. It's been almost a year. Throwback. We weren't even dating then. I don't even think we need the what a time. keyboard I don't for know. that. I'm just getting ready. All right. Dad took number 17. Nothing can beat reading in print. Fair. Try not to make assumptions about people. Dad tip number seven. On Friday night, you are most likely to. Oh, God. We're jumping right into this. <sighs> Polish and sort my coin collection. Netflix and grill, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel. <laughs> Torment my children with dad puns or sink into blissful oblivion. We already know which one it is. Which one is it? You know which one it is. Which one is it? Dad puns. No. All the way. We are falling asleep watching the History Channel. I would totally be tormenting my children with that. I puns. mean, I know you would, <laughs> but I would be falling asleep watching the History Channel. I'd probably watch the History Channel too. But this is a Friday night. So? Alright. 
If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? My trusty grill, the lost shaker of salt, cast away on DVD for instructional purposes, a boat, obviously. I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. You know, I don't think I've actually ever seen Cast Away. I haven't either. Huh. I think right. it should be the lost shaker of salt. I don't know why, but I like salt, and it's weird. I don't like that it's the lost shaker. It makes it sound like legendary, ominous. We're going to get Eiffel Towered by him and Joseph, by the Ooh, way. What are your turn-ons? A light switch. Strong dad arms, tennis shoes with long white socks, a well manicured lawn, street smarts, top tier grillmanship, or comfortable with crying. My stomach's telling me grillmanship. Got it. What did you want to be when you grew up? When I was a kid, I wanted to work at Walmart when I grew up. You wanted to work at Walmart? I did. That's what I told my mom. I was like, I want to work at Walmart when I grow up. I'm glad you've never worked at Walmart. And my mom was like, ah, okay, Melissa, yep, live your dreams. What's wrong with my child? Honestly. <laughs> All right. Technical writer for manuals and instructionals. Ugh, been there, girl. Uh, salty boat captain. Pro skater who's also an astronaut. I mean, a we good do love father. the semen. The president of space. I like salty boat captain. I like a good father. Think about Amanda. Thanks, Anon. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a good father. Sorry. What's your favorite movie genre? War documentaries, Sean Connery's entire filmography, anything on Laserdisc, romantic comedies, whatever will make me cry, old comedies that haven't aged well. Now let's think about Steve Irwin for a moment. I feel like it's either Sean Connery, romantic comedies, or old comedies. I think old comedies. You think old comedies? All right, let's do it. What's your ideal date? Also, apparently we're gonna have a movie night where we watch Castaway. Okay, I'm down. Napping together, doing a thousand piece puzzle together, eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m., <gasps> trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost. I like arson. how both of us gasped at that. I mean, obviously it's that. Yeah. Second was arson. Okay. What do you never leave home without? A sensible a cardigan, knife. my sick vape, my book of word jumbles and a pen, a cool knife, my cripplingly low self-esteem, me. I frequently forget my phone, keys, and wallet at home sometimes. I think it should be a sensible cardigan. Yeah, we're stylish. We're stylish. <laughs> it's huge, Cody. Oh, these, these are good. Oh, Lord. I spend a lot of time thinking about... Yes. I didn't even read the rest of it. Conspiracy theories. <laughs> always conspiracy theories. Is it? The cursor is not aligned. I think it's something to do with the capture program in Streamlabs. That's weird. Let me let me see if I can try something. Whoa. All the tech things. There we go. Okay. Fix it, man. Ah. See? That wasn't so bad. His voice. Was it just my voice? I don't know. That's my voice now. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. I forgot about this cat shirt and I'm in love. It took me so long to convince you to do the cat shirt, I think. Yeah. You should message one of them or more than one of them. All these guys seem pretty interesting. Uh, okay. I promise I'll make some friends. Friends. Wink. Amanda gives me a hug. Oh, that was painful. Good job, honey. It's good. Ooh. Go get him, Dad. Hey, guys, how weird is it that you can hear me here and also over here? Go get him, Dad. <laughs> Dad. Welcome. You've got Dad. Whoa. All right, obviously, Matt. Okay, Matt. Okay, we have to. Okay, who's your number one right now? Matt was. Matt was our number one. Yeah, Matt was our number one. Then I think we liked... I don't remember. Let's just go with number one. Yeah. Oh, we can look at all of them. Uh, ooh. Matt Sella. Avid music enthusiast, name. passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no-wave music. 
Heck yes. On a Friday night, you're most likely to perfect my cold brew setup one drip at a time, baby. We didn't have that option. No, we didn't. If you had one thing to take oh, take with you onto the desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. Again. What are your turn-ons? Multi-instrumentalism. Oh, I'm multi-instrumentalism. Are you, though? I can handle more than one instrument. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. What's your favorite? Me too. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. What was I playing July 29th of last year? It would be this. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. What's your ideal <laughs> date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. Can we go on a date sometime? Yeah. Except... Can we go on the you date can cons you can consider Buffalo adopting Wild a cat. I will consider ways to prevent you from adopting the cat. Okay, who do you live tomorrow? I don't know if we have a local animal shelter. Okay, fine, then, don't worry. Okay, well, you've what, got a nose for it. What do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in ear and over ear, just in case. I spend a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from, and where did it go? Did we all just agree that it's a bad idea? Okay, so I guess we get to assign like a heart value. And message them. So three I'm going to give them three hearts because we love maybe them. That's, maybe that's our relationship with them. Uh, we oh. played for like three hours and didn't get to the relationship building part. We had sex with that one guy. I We did not get to the relationship building part. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. It's me. Hey, man. Great getting to see you that's at the barbecue. Me. We should definitely hang soon. See you later. Right, or I'll be Matt. A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Just okay, like, you're still me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just like reading. Hey, dude, I'd be so down All for right. that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come? I think for a moment. What's a Sound Garden? Wow, he's quick. It's like a robot. It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh, man. I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk band out of Canada. Pump, There's, pop, I know, punk, pump, pop rock. punk rock band. Look, it was a lot of adjectives. God. Out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together See? to describe a band. Me either. Whatever. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Why were you asking, Axel, anyway? Indie, pop, punk, A, A? I log off dad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and mortal panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Satanic panic. You mean when D&D became popular? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Click on that and scroll up. Scroll back down. He was asking what we were playing on July 29th, and so I was looking for the date July 29th to figure out what it was. Is this saying August 30th? That's not August. That's, this is it. Yeah, that's August 30th. Why is it saying August 30th? That wasn't August 30th. Did we play on August 30th? No, we didn't. Because we've only played the once, and we weren't dating then. We were dating August 30th. I was at college August 30th. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I know why. Because Dulor kept calling it Chad. Mm -hmm. And so I had to keep going in and erasing it and fixing it and making it Joseph. So you must have screwed up the date? Well, I couldn't change the date. It, the date was when you enter it in. Oh, that was the last time you went back. Yeah. Oh, well. well. Anyways, so that explains this it. is not Dream Daddy. Oh, God. I had a mullet back then. Oh, God. I thought it was cool. Oh, God. Other people thought it was cool. Ugh. I finally remember the strange 80s progressive rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? 
I really wanna see with a mullet now. Not gonna lie. [laughs] Me with a mullet? Yeah. I had one. Kind of. It was just long hair. Wasn't quite a mullet. How do I, I wanna say with a mullet. Yeah. I'm never wearing a mullet. [laughs] Short of me becoming a Jedi I will never have a mullet. [laughs] Yes. Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? Um. I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought it was cool. At least, relative to a bunch of other dads my age. [laughs] Hey Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Oh. Her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she'd been crying. Oh. Hey. Well, what's wrong, Panda? [laughs] I'm fine. Oh, nothing. I'm fine. Wow, they actually voiced that. I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take pop music seriously despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. Oh yeah, man. They're talking about you. I think it's just yet another thing that we write off because we can't take young women or their interests seriously. Oh, I don't know if it's top one or bottom one. Come on, Dad. Oh. I would say the top one. Yeah, that's what I'm leaning toward. That is pretty messed up. Sounds like it's just kind of like brushing it off. So, yeah. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. With you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Okay. Thanks, popsicle. I appreciate that. I hope my kid calls me popsicle. [laughs] But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced. But I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. [noise] Anyway, what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? [laughs] Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. Not as long as my night with the one I remember what his name was. Robert? Yeah, Robert. That was it. No, seriously. Matt, with one t, invited me to a concert. And I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Yeah. [laughs] Yeah, you have. You took me to one once when I was twelve, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed with the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. [noise] Oh, god. I've tried so hard to forget. Okay. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot, and then you cried and screamed the whole time. Hmm. Dad, he was so much more than that, and I'm not even ashamed to say it. [laughs] Sorry, I got stuck on the fact that Anand says he's seen me without a beard. I've seen you without a beard. Yes, you have. The first time you met me, I didn't have a beard. And you preferred me that way. Yeah. That's fine. Until you saw me with a beard. Yeah, the beard just kinda grew on me. Yes, it did. Not on your face. I mean, it did, it kinda grew on my face, but it did kinda grow in my mind and my heart. Didn't take that long. Yes, it did. You don't even know. I liked you before I liked your beard. Oh, you're not ashamed. [laughs] [noise] You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing and your trapper keeper. Where's the trapper keeper? The little thing you put, like, your pixie pot in. Oh. I think. Oh, it's just called a pixie bag. Pixie bag. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. [laughs] [noise] Just bring a big, just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. [laughs] Well, it's at a smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Mmm, like d i y gutter punk? Thrash straight-edge kinda give me something to work with here. [noise] Are they post punk? Proto punk? Ski punk? Jammie punk? [noise] What's jammie punk? Mm. Never end. Never end? Oh, they still, they still exist, though. [laughs] No, pop. Punk is over. Their only album that came out was Shadow. Mine still goes. Mm. If I can find it. Yeah. [laughs] Mm, it's been a while. [laughs] Yeah. Actually like, my favorite bands are still like Foreigner. [laughs] [laughs] Yeah. Um, Foreigner's one of those bands. Yeah, like I was into, like, emo punk rock and stuff for a while, and then I just stopped. But yeah, that's about it. Um, they were a really big group. Um, they were from Ireland. Oh, they're from Ireland. Um, I was like, "Oh, they must be from Cork." [laughs] Oh. 
counterculture rebellion. I feel like I'm back in pop music experience, discussing punk music again. The only song that is coming to mind right now is Responsibilities by MXPX. Where? Have you ever heard that song? No. And I'm thinking it smells like Teen Spirit. I was listening to that on the drive here. What? It was good. It was good stuff. I mean, I like Nirvana, so I can't complain. I don't know the song. The only one that I ever really knew was Heart Shaped Box. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yes, you do need to start listening to punk songs. I think you should listen. Look, I'm far away. Yes, you do need to start listing punk songs. Clearly, we don't know enough. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. <sighs> Alright. That's it? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. <laughs> that's an idea. <laughs> well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers to see the offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. I feel like she's speaking from experience. What? <laughs> Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. John can be as edgy as he wants because let me tell you that boy is sharp. Hey, it's a cactus. Why don't you just turn around and sit down, Joseph? I show up to the coffee spoon at 8, but I hope... Hey, welcome, I'm your daddy-o to the Squires. Hello! Glad to have you. That was a loud sound. Now you know what I work with, and I turned that down. Really? Yes, I yeah. had to turn it down when my audio issues occurred. Mm. Uh... I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is concert-appropriate attire. I see Matt out front locking the door to the shop. Hey. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? His voice is deeper than that. Look, we're not, we're not going in. Hey, you made it. You ready for tonight? I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, middle one. <laughs> you better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's mosh that new. Like oh, I will so be like this as a dad. Axel, you know you didn't unfollow. What? N new? Short for oh. venue? You know, where you, you go to see dope certs? Are you just making this stuff up right now? Are you just making this stuff up right now? Oh, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Hey. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and screams cry and scream cries? Yeah. Hey. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. Oh. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Steve, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. <laughs> hey. Are you a dolphin now? <laughs> no, I have a better dolphin noise than that, but I don't want to wake up the whole house. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into the distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. Your eyes are tearing up. Yeah, I know. I've totally <laughs> been for a long time, staring off into the distance. That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. I'll enjoy you. Come on, let's head to the show. She's gonna act it out and I'm gonna read it, apparently. 
what? You, every time I talk to him, I guess my character's voice is deeper. Well, his voice is deeper. You want to do the deep voice? I'm a 20 year old girl. After waiting. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. You also sounded like the smoker. My waning youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. When, we, when were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-Bunk action? I can't do that. I can't do too many syllables. Is C-Punk actually a genre? Matt, you made it! There you oh. go. The younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Yeah, I can be a prepubescent hmm. boy. That was a good high five. Or yeah. mid five. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Me too. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Hey. That's my favorite thing to do. Honestly. A patch of sunlight with an open window and a nice breeze? I like it. Thumbs up. It looks like they are in a crappy comedy club. Yes, it does, Dooler. Yes, it does. I mean, isn't that where all indie punk pop rock Bands indie, go. Indie rock pop punk or something. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. I'm sorry, the way hey. you the way you said hey. that sounded like one of those trying to uh trying to sound cool and fit in, like, why yes, hello other youths. I am a kid like you as well. <laughs> Me. Hey. Not wave, I'm gonna hug the couple people. <laughs> Really the only thing. Hey. Oh, I get it now. Indie pop punk. I missed that the first time, but I, I see you, Dulor. I see you. I see you loud and clear. Matt turns his attention back to me. Mm. He embraces me, his mouth covering mine. I'm making smut. Yes, you are. I'm so afraid of all these people. Why do you come? Oh. Let's go grab a beer. I love how they capitalize beer. It's important. Like, I got a Smirnoff down in the fridge with my name on it. Yeah, but that's like Smirnoff's a brand. That's true. I got a malt liquor with my name on it down in the fridge. Wow. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Hey. Seems like you're a popular guy out there. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Guys, please. I'm just waiting on John to do it now. And then Ellen to join in. Indie him. pop punk? Eh? Eh? I'm not kissing you for the rest of the night. You can blame them. I don't believe you. I'll win. Don't worry. We'll see about that. When does the night end? In uh, two and a half hours. Oh, we're just talking until midnight. That's nothing. Yeah, then it's morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're fine. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Me. Me too. Bruh, I don't want to be a follower like them. I'm going to pave my own path. Do it, John. I believe in you. You cut your own path. You be edgy. Are you sniffing the mic? <laughs> no, I was seeing how close I could get to it. Without touching it. Read your lines! <laughs> and then, I become keenly aware of where my hands are. Me too. Why, why would you time him out, Dulor? Because he wasn't going to do the indie pop punk. Dulor, that's cheating. Not the 
trying to put me down because I'm rebellious. Yay. And that's and that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your. It's oh, true. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Darn it, where do I put my tongue? Hey. See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Well, thank you. Well, <laughs> just you wait. Hey. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I wonder why people wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's check out the merch. Who's going to take me out on a date and not pay for my food? Hopefully not that guy. He looks filthy. That is a guy. Yeah, that that's a guy. Yeah, I just glanced over. That's really a guy quick. wearing a crop top. You should get a crop top like that. I can make you one. John, for the love of God, if I ever wear a crop top, please set me on fire. I might have brought a crop top with me. I did. I brought two crop tops. You can wear one. Oh, we can both wear one. No, they match with no. different colors. <sighs> Axel, please set me on fire. Or do lore, one of you. Whoever's closest. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in a corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. You can use whatever type of accelerant you want. I like Step this one, Step on up. Get your merch here. I got t-shirts. I got tank tops. I got all the gifts and accoutrements a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want. You. I feel like napalm's illegal. I gestured to myself. My place, my place, flustered and fed. What hole? Green? Fred. Yes. I'm not you. kissing you for a day. After that comment. You know what? You called your mom old today. I did. That was rude. <laughs> she herself admitted it was clever and funny. My joke was clever and funny. It was targeted. Yeah, it was. Seething with rage. It was seething with pure rage. <laughs> yeah, because of all the alcohol you've consumed. You light a match near yourself and you'll just catch flame. Yes, you. You look like a fellow who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long-playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Canada's pre 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 premier, premier punk rock outfit? For the record, Anon, I thought it was pretty funny. He said nobody would want to burn a copy of a mixtape. Get it? Burn. Oh. Yike. Please don't cut yourself. I'm not going to... Melissa. 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 The knife down. Give me the knife. Give, give me the knife. Tell you how good, sir. Well, see here, fine shopkeep. Your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest and suspicion in equal parts. How can I, a consumer of the finer goods in life, trust your wares to be true of spirit? A fine question from a discerning patron. I thought that was Matt for a minute. Yes, I knew it. I knew that was going to be the right answer. <laughs> We're earning them hearts. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. It's a teen. Mm -hmm. The teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. What gave it away, the crop top or the triple X? Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Hey. <laughs> Canada does pro free. <laughs> Uh, Good. I hope Shadow's here to see that. Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high five, but also turn it into a hug. It was really close quarters, but okay. I don't actually know how this works. Yeah, oh, wait, no, just kidding. No, yep. I do. Mm. I do. Oh. No, do it with me. Please. Sorry, Mike. Your mic, not that mic. Can we ask the band if they want to go to tennis? Hmm. Your mom doing better? 
Dead. He's still single. If you want to be my dad, I could make that connect. <laughs> <laughs> and have to deal with you every single day? Also, I like dick. Fair enough. Who's your bud? Do not clip that. Quote that. <laughs> hey. That's Steve. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Probably leans close to Matt. Matt eyes me. I wink, lick my lips, blow him a kiss. I eye him back. Mm. He cracks a smile. Hey. Yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats on the back, as is customary in our society, for people you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Hey. I just don't hug people. Like, I love getting hugs and giving hugs, but if I don't know someone, I just don't touch them. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man. When are we starting our witch house band? Hey! What's a witch house? You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You... Vacant Vale? You know that the cross and the cross, vacant veil with cross, cross would have slayed. It's like the coexist sign. <laughs> It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. 100% polyester cotton. Wow. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Hey. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. I love Canada. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. Got him in heaven. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Mm. Oh, no. These guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. <laughs> this is why I'm not kissing her. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks. I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. Hmm. I guess that's what really matters. Oh. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get it. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? We're totally, totally awkward. So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Yeah. So, you. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Matt turns back his attention to the show. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. feel like I'm gonna have a seizure. I know, I hate the shaking. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing this same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Welcome back, Ellen. Hello. So you're back to share, right? Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage, crying. Hmm. Matt and I both pull out our earplugs. Hey. Man, that was something. I promise Puff is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. Hey. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. 
Alex. Hi, Cody. It's Mel's best friend of five years. Okay. I was gonna say Jen, but then I remembered that you've been friends with Jen for longer than five years. So me? It's Ellen. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 Why is she saying hi? Okay. Hi. I'm dancing with laser <sighs> Oh look, a Steve. Hey Steven. Hey! It's Steven. Hello, Mr. Isaac. Except it's Carver. Hi, Carbine. Carbine? Carbine. Carbine. Hello, Mr. Carver. <laughs> Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. Why don't you read, Steve? Seeing as I'm doing the other voice. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? There are no beans in his name. <laughs> are there even exits? <laughs> what if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if a terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt! Hey. You grabbed my butt. Almost lost you, buddy. Ooh, I got really nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude takes my hand and leads me back toward the stage. Here, you kiss me. Your hand. I can feel myself flushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Is it blues time? Oh. Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Hmm. Oh yeah. It's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. Hey Steven, did you say you had some of the Jurassic Park movies, by the way? I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. You mean I'm this tiny dadder? Oh my god. I've never heard it put that way. It's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hey. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeeze my way out of the crowd toward the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so yeah. proud of her. Looks like an Egyptian goddess. I make it to the restroom, finally. It's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. I don't think we have a VHS player anymore. Bring the third one. We'll rent the other two. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowded, uh, crowded up against the stage as Pup plays the first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Just look for the hot guy with dreads. Uh, what? What? There's more to this game than gain? Every Wait. I don't know what he said. I don't know how we do this. We have to avoid the use. Everyone's rushing somewhere. Oh, shit. I don't understand. I don't get how I'm doing this. You gotta get up to the front Where's and the avoid the use. How do I avoid the use? Where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. I'm at the front. Really Where's Matt? You gotta keep going it's forward. Why? I went to the front of the stage. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. But their systems are seriously broken now. What a bitch. <laughs> I love this song. Why is there another stage? So we add the, the song that you're listening Your to time. Right you just got to get as far as you can for a minute Don't and get the hearts. Oh. It's better than risking content ID. 
to you streamers and let's players I have one degree please check Why? out the it's like crossy road but it, it doesn't work well PvP. I appreciate it but it's kind of sad oh that's I should be that's doing it right. that way the band's called pump and their song called DVP the song is great and the video is tight if you it would have been a lot me. easier it's like footage of NES and SNES games with the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now. But you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check it out. It's a really good video. Trying to get all the hearts. Oh! I fell off, apparently. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the chat. Oh god, we got an A! Sick! Keep away from John. And let's players, I have one degree. Right, jacket number three, start building Please credit as early as possible. After searching and searching, I realize it's impossible. I'll never be able to find Matt in the sea of subculture. I guess I'll just camp out here. I watch Puff set by my lonesome Matt next to a bunch of hip 20 somethings. I can tell they're judging my clothes, and I want so badly to grab them by the shoulders and explain the usefulness of utility pockets. I'm gonna try to focus on the concert. This is a dating sim about getting with dads. No, that man. I wish Matt were here. Oh God, how did we get? The show finally ends, and I wait for Matt outside. After a minute or two, Matt spots me. Oh, dude. You sure are a sight for sore eyes. Sorry, I lost you back there. Oh, this is all good. Wasn't it a great show? Totally. Would have been more fun with you though. Hey. What's going on with your job, Steven? I thought um, things were looking pretty good uh, last I talked to you. Well, next time I next time I guess we'll just have to hold hands the whole time so we don't lose each other, huh? Yes, please. Ha! I laugh. Am I blushing? Hey. You hungry? Starving. For that dick. Oh. Follow me. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. He's perfect. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Hey. He's perfect. Him. I want him. Do you? Yes. So, there I am, in the pit, trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo. But he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which, coincidentally, was red. He's lumbering toward me, and there's nowhere to go the end for me right and out of nowhere i get this idea i just lean back and spread my arms and just like that i'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion you should have seen the look on his face hey. bought him a beer afterward and we were cool we still follow each other on social media he has beautiful kids glad you guys worked it out oh yeah man just goes to show you that punk's not dead he just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter so how'd you get to see all these amazing concerts Oh. oh, I uh, used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we were poor, and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Oh. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people. Especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man. Everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. Yeah, I mean, the kid needed a shower. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Oh. Thanks. The single parents just really have to look out for each other. You ever thought about not being single? How's Carmencita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. Hey. It'll be loud, and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin. But I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Hopefully no cam curling. Mm. Also, I really want grapefruit-flavored vodka now. I know, right? Sounds good. I'm 
trying to be supportive of Carmencita's rebellion. Carmencita's rebellion. I could say it differently. <laughs> but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Hmm. The man. Like what? I feel like big, big budget remakes of foreign films. Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just. Oh, and he likes subtitles. Oh, yeah, that's I true. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're on one. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Yes, it right. does. Man. Oh. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. Don't be single anymore. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Hey. Yeah. I just... I don't know. Hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Mac gets nervous talking to people? But he's so cool. Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert. Never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just kind of uncomfortable in every situation always. Yes, right. me. Oh, you're fine. Real fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Hey. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. Hmm. I uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hmm. All right. I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, cat. He called me cool. <laughs> Matt called me cool. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Hmm. No, you still do Amanda. I switch back no, to Steve. No. Yeah. I would love to hear you do Amanda. Hey, Pops, how was the show? Oh, God. See? What did I tell you? Hey, Pops, how was the show? There you go. Matt thinks I'm cool. Mm -hmm. You don't say. She's so you. Man, Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> blind leading the blind, huh? Wow. I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Now you know how your mom feels. I told her I loved her. <laughs> All right. I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. What do you mix it with, Ellen? Eight complete. Worthwhile hobby. Body humor, band puns, ska, music pit. B. Yeah, that record another spin. Why not? All right, I'll take a B. I don't know what we could have done better, but I'll take a B. Probably a running around with a human. Probably. While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. Nice mail person slides a couple letters and a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. <laughs> Does it now? Hey, my coupons! Take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. This one's for... Strawberry flavored loop? Ugh. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. Oh, is it a college thing? I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay. Just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. <laughs> Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. 
Mike might be slightly drunk. Pineapple, orange juice. Pineapple sounds good. Don't know about the orange juice and vodka. I've never liked screwdrivers. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out the piece of envelope. I'm glad you're using that mic. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. Suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Axel just did a body shot? Hold up. How would you know that? You're not even in a Discord together. I feel lied to. Continue. Amanda's face is unreadable. Why? Oh, it's because it's still back there. Hmm. I can't believe this. Uh Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in! I hate you. <laughs> oh. I got in! <laughs> Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. Oh. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh, my God. I really can't believe I got in. I believe it, Dooler. I believe you now. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview. And your photography is incredible. Ah, uh, wait. Dad? Uh, I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. I think for a moment, Kia was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. Do I not work? It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Hmm. Really? Of course. <laughs> I like how that when you hug me, you hiss. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. Me. I've always wanted to try a food truck. 10 p.m., everyone. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rita with the view. Can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. <laughs> Suddenly, John leaps off of one of them, boards another, and drops its anchor, and then kills the entire crew. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring student IDs, and... Amanda, slow down. I'm gonna choke on your burrito. She is so you. You were so I know. Good. I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio spaces once they're seniors? And we get all the professional photo editing software for free? That's nice. It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about Kia. I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest, I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. Yeah, we did Craig stands together all the time. I Craig stood him all night long. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl ruled. All right. Ooh, they let you have animal in the dorms? Ooh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake or maybe both. Would the snake eat a rabbit, though? Yes. Oh, boy. I think I'll leave that up to you. Wait, who went to Ireland? Ellen? Oh, no. no. John went to Ireland. He may have not been old enough to drink there. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what the talk was about. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? D no. Hmm. I, I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. 
I know you can do it. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll try harder. Pat her on the back. Her eyes are getting all puffy. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. I was about to say, paranormal ice people. I forget what the show was called, but I wanna watch it now. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Wow, John, you rebellious child, you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Hmm. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person. I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry, too. Too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. Just add some salt. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. <laughs> Love you too, Pops. Welcome. You've got dads. Okay. Let's check on Matt real quick. We have a heart. We have a heart. So, let's see. Nothing new. I want to see if we have any hearts with anyone else, but it's probably lying. I mean, like, we did do Robert, so I was wondering if maybe we'd get a heart. No, that was a one-line stand. You know what? Move on. What are your turn on? My loving wife. Wait. Yeah, he's the one with the wife who was that woman who hit on us in the bar. Yeah, I know, but if he's supposed to be gay and he's but a pastor. The world isn't supposed to know he's gay. I just. Dad wrote this is Facebook for dads. It doesn't have to do with dating. Oh, okay. So he he's putting on the facade. What are we doing? I mean, we could go after Matt again. Okay, let's go after Matt. I would love to visit New Schwanstein Castle. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today, anyway. Amanda. Huh. Amanda sticks her head out of her room. Father. Wanna go to the coffee spoon? <laughs> oh, so you get called cool once, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at coffee shops, listens to neo jazz and stuff. Look, neo jazz is good. Amanda. <laughs> Are you gonna go bring your laptop and your leather bound journal just so you can work on your poetry anthology? Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? <laughs> Let me grab my laptop and my leather bound journal. Amanda and I make the short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy little nooks. Walk up to the counter and see a familiar, pierced face. Hey, you were the dude I yelled at a bunch the other night. Dad. Amanda casts a sideways glance at me. He Eat? tried to sell me shirts. He might you need me. Oh, God. Dad. This is my daughter, Amanda person I am a father to and am very protective of. In order to make your acquaintance, my name's Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? Hmm. I wouldn't call it witch house music, but okay. <sighs> a piercing blow to my ego, though not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. My innate dad senses tingle. I'm overwhelmed with a fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. Um, uh, defend witch house? Style of music. Reappropriate lines from Taken. Listen here, Pablo. I have a very specific set of skills to, uh, I can type pretty fast for people my age. Huh? If 
you so much as harm a hair on my daughter's head, I'll be coming for you at a comfortable 80 words per minute after I practice a little. <laughs> 80 words per minute? Get good, scrub. Scrub. Wow, scrub. That's club. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. All right, see you later, Steven. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on Friday for Dino Nugs and Dino Movies. Yes. Ah, they went to Loch Ness. Bruh. And they rappelled down a castle wall. I would probably hate that, but I want to try it. Me too. I miss him more. I'll always miss him more than you, I Axel. I miss him most. Here I am trying to have a friendly rivalry. Rivalry. I've quit. I'm done. Same. I'm not talking anymore. You can read your lines. Steve. Huh. Matt comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high five as fellow cool people do. Hmm. I see you've met my newest employee. At your service, although I'm only here until Vacant Vale starts their world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put out a record first. Okay. All right, Pablo. Now what do we do with customers again? Right, yes. Pablo clears his throat. <clears> throat. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? A smashing pumpkin spice latte, please. A classic. And you? Um... I know that, well, they're all music puns, aren't they? They're all puns. I want to lean toward decaf for cutie because yeah, it's like decaf for, for cutie. cutie. A decaf for cutie, please. Don't want too much caffeine. Decaf? Sounds like you're settling. I have a very early bedtime. I just can't miss. Hey. No, uh... The Sound of Settling is a Death Cab for yes, Cutie song, which was the band I was a pun off of. So, when I said it sounded like you were settling, I, uh... I'm gonna stop talking now. Coming right up. Steven just invited Axel over on Friday. Oh my goodness. Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. He'll get the hang of it. For as goofy of a dude as he is, kid works hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hey. Hell yes. Hey. I'm actually gonna be done training Pablo in a couple of hours and was gonna go rec record shopping. Wanna come along? Absolutely. Hmm. Pablo brings us our drinks and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people. But, for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable around him. Aww. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Yeah, sounds great. Have you ever been here before? No. I mean, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have are two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. Hey. Oh. This should be fun, then. We're gonna find you some good stuff. The store walls of the- or, wow. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. Few people mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do people still buy records? Isn't it kinda outdated at this point? Hey, dude. Hey, dude. There's a lot of people who will try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent. But really, I think it's just nice to collect records. Oh! It's cool that in this day and age, we have just about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones. But there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I'll always love. Hey. That's why I try to get as many of the records that I love in physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids and we'd have to wait around by the radio with the cassette tapes so we could record our favorite songs? Hey! <laughs> it made each listen really special. And mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. 
I no. never had to do that. Now you just make a playlist. I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. Hey. I look around the multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, Anarcho-Punk. I almost read that as Arachno-Punk. Nunsploitation? What? Sounds more like a pun uh, pun Wow, porno. What's wrong with me? Hey, thanks, Axel. Axel's Please tell liver. him to stop doing body shots. I cannot take it. Oh, Axel's liver. Axel, stop doing body shots. Take a take a page out of Dulor's book. Yeah. I have no idea where to even start. Man, this is a little overwhelming. Hey. <sighs> Here, let me help you find something you might like. I've already found what I like. <laughs> If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? None of these. Person. Oh. Wow. Didn't even consult me. I was going to say, personally, I would be strawberry or cookies and cream. Rude. We're trying to impress him here. I got to think about this. Okay. Click happy. I'm sorry. I couldn't stand any of the other flavors. If you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? I feel like I'm just gonna eat. I would say Daffodil Mountain Spray. Yeah, that's what I was gonna oh. do. What's your favorite ambient sound? Rain. Howls of the Bone Chorus. I don't think that's an ambient sound. No, but it's fun. But I like rain. Fine, we'll say rain. Thank you. What's your dream vacation spot? Living off the fat of the land in Ibiza. Starting a new life in the Baltics, my backyard. I'm gonna give you this one. <laughs> Axel, you should be filming all this and putting it on Snapchat. What was his question? Your, your secret fear, your deepest secret fear or something. Or that this people one. are nice to me only because they want to get something from me. I fear that I don't deserve happiness and won't ever get it. Hey, Dulor, thanks for the $2. Axel said he wants Chad to raw him, just FYI. I believe that too. What if nobody exists but me and I and I fabricated this universe? Saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your <laughs> All right, sure. Hmm. Matt thinks for a moment. Hmm. Huh? Oh, I know just the thing. Hey. <laughs> what, Axel? You don't want to get down and dirty with a uh, youth youth priest? Uh, wow, youth priest, youth pastor. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns, holding a record behind his back, and shows it to me. This is Smoky Rolls Down Thunder Canyon by Devendra Banhart. Sounds like you. What you need is some Devin, Devendra, Devendra, Devendra Barn Betta. Devendra Banhard. Sounds like what you need is some Devendra Banhard. Actually, I think everyone needs a little bit of Devendra in their lives. Whoa, dude! Thanks for the recommendation. Hey. You're gonna have a great time with it. Promise. Matt and I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum ring and a buzz cut stands behind the counter with one earbud in. Usual stuff today, Matt? Yeah, sounds great. Just some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear I'm Good at This by Diet Sig. Forever by Mystery Skulls. And Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. Or Remo Drive. Tight. Hey. Cashier rings Matt up and hands his album, or hands back his albums in a bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Who's the nerd? Five dollars. I just wanted to one up people. <laughs> Thanks, Jaw. I appreciate it. That nerd is my buddy Steve. Steve, this beacon of human charm is Molly. I always like that. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, Matt, is the open mic still mic night still on? Hmm. 
You know it. Are the third waves going to do a special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic night going on? Oh. Yeah, dude. We do it every month at the Coffee Spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. Hey. Ooh. Yeah. You and Amanda should come by that night. Uh, hey. Matt flushes. Uh, hey. I mean, uh, if you're not doing anything. Um, Will Vacant Vale be playing? Oh. If only. I finished paying for my record and we head out of the store. Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that since Vans had shag, shag carpeting. Axel, you know that Mike would want it on Snapchat. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think of all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. A song is important to me, not only in that I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. There's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. Hey. All that stuff. And listening to those songs reminds me of those moments of my life. It's suddenly Southern. Yeah. Now that I think of it, even the pop concert Amanda made me take her to is special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. Hey. And then that even reminds me of a younger me going to see my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. We would always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Also, Dulor, feel free to, at any time, use my donations to make fun of Axel. You guys hear about your European trip? Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Matt stops and thinks for a moment. Did he just mention something about pot, or was that you? That was him. I didn't read anything of that. Did you just click through it? I was reading it the whole time. Did Steve say it or did Matt say it? Steve did. Oh, so S Steve spoke smoked pot. Yeah, and he okay. was asking when the last time he smoked pot was. Gotcha. It's been decades. Thank God. Feel like we've established your trip already? I don't know, John. I didn't quite catch it. You guys should tell me the story again through donations. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? Is that even what the kids call it these days? I don't know. Hey. Don't do this. But I bet don't I could this. find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? No. Say no to drugs. We have kids. Huh? Nah. No, nah, man. I think I'm good. Hey. It, uh, it's a little juvenile, I guess. Let's go, go back to my place and listen to them. Oh. Matt and I walk back to the cul-de-sac and head to his house. Hope he isn't bummed about the no weed thing. Oh. We sit and listen through the Diet Sig album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again and see photos of Carmen Sita growing up. I spot a young woman. Woman? I spot a young woman. A young woman? With a huge smile on one of the pictures with it, too. Who's that? Uh, hey. Get high with Buff Pappy. You fool. Hey guys, I went to Ireland. Did I tell you about it? No, thanks. Tell me more. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's uh, Rosa. She was Carmen Sita's mother. She died when Carmen Sita was young. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. What a nice gender neutral name. I was trying to think of the word neutral. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster hanging on the wall. On it, there's an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering reads, Stillness the Dancing. Looks like they played the Sound Garden over a decade ago. What? What? Period. Hands in quotation marks. Oh. Period. Hands in quotation marks. <laughs> I thought I said something wrong. I was like, what did I do? Period. Are you two in a band together? Hey. Dulor is given ten dollars. Thanks, Dulor. Axel just took a few more body shots. Hot dog. Someone record those, please. I gotta see that. Wait, is Axel the one having the shots on him, or is he doing it off of Mike? 
He's taping them. Off of mic? Well, I assume that was what they mean when they said they were taping them. So I went over with the group. I went through all the UK and saw some really cool castles and went to the Loch Ness and hold on. And at one point rappelled down a castle wall. Wow. Nice. That sounds like a fun. Did you, which castle did you rappel down? Can I yeah. fix this one? No, that's good to have it on there. Okay. I didn't read what he said. Oh, well, too bad. You are too click happy. Okay. Stop your clicking. You're so mean to me. Uh, I think they were in a band together. Only two fingers. I kissed you. No, you didn't. What? It was on my face. It was hard to start, but once we started gaining notoriety and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Big Brother is always watching Axel. I wish you guys even know what I'm doing. Hey, 2K. <laughs> wow, that seems like a life some people only dream of. Oh. It was. It was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. <sighs> so, once she became pregnant with Carmen Sita, we put down roots in our favorite town to play in, right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa always had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop. She, uh, she died right before it opened. I love you, also I took a few body shots. Starting to sound like Axel's feeling the alcohol. I love you too, man. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Hey. Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Hey. Matt gets up to flip the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? Uh, uh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in my day. Mm. Oh, I bet they're going to make us play. Oh, yeah? Was not a fan. Was pretty scared. If you ever want to go to Ireland, go to Giant's Causeway. Another cool place is Warwick Castle. I believe they shot a lot of scenes for Merlin in Warwick. Uh, Warwick Castle. Also, the London Eye isn't worth it in your opinion. Good to know. I think I'd still do it just for the sake of it, though. Oh, okay. Are there random people? Sure. Cool. When I become famous and I'm able to hold my own European convention over there, absolutely. I love you. I fronted the hottest seven-piece ska band that Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. Hey. No way. You had a ska phase? Phase? Ska never dies. Oh. Except for ska Communist Manifesto, who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> Dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls out the piano bench. Hey. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh, God, they're going to make us play, aren't they? We'll see. Yeah, if they do, they're going to do that. Oh, man, let's see if I still got it. Hey. I sit down at the piano. Did you just got roots? Yeah, might as well. Hey, I think I'm doing it. I'm playing ska. Hey. Wait, that was just smoke on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I've forgotten how to play. Hmm. The deep purple is always appreciated nonetheless. All right, buddy. Can you top that? Uh, I, uh, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. Uh, no, I'm... It's been a long time. All right, what's going on? Axel, I once sent Anon a dick pic and Dulor slapped it out of the air. I bet you enjoyed that. Taking a few body shots off of Chad next. Do you love him? I don't know who Chad is. Who's Chad? I don't know. People keep talking about Chad, but I don't know who Chad is. Sounds like a fictitious character. It's never too late to get back into it. Yeah, let's su let's support him. Matt, you just sat through a butchered version of Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. How much worse can it be? Matt stares at the piano for a second. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm, uh... Those were eggplants. 
He's feeling us. We're about to be feeling him. Oh, I'm, yeah. uh, okay. Matt closes his eyes and runs his fingers over the He's keys. He's going to be running his fingers over something tonight. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. If I didn't know that he hadn't played the piano in a long time, I would never have guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I've never heard this before. Is this one of his original works? This is so cool. Oh. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. Hmm. How was that? That was amazing. Also, Mike's mm. on Snapchat, apparently. Oh, yike. Oh, it's, uh, it's nothing. Come on, man. That was killer. Are you going to pull that out for the open mic night? Uh, uh, no, I, I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. Hmm. It's just, I just don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't we'll do feel it fun together. anymore. I can sense that Matt's getting uncomfortable at the thought of it. I won't push him any further. All right, man. But I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Oh, th thanks. Chad, why don't you look at me during? It's like you don't even know I'm there. Who are you? Who is Chad? I don't know who Chad is. Hey. Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late, and I decide I need to go to bed. Matt walks me to my door. Hey. Night, dude. I smile. Sorry, I got distracted by uh, Mike on Snapchat. I love you, Michael. Mike, good friendo. I love you. Also, drink some water, please. Night. Where are the plants? Those are the vegetables. Yeah, right there. Next to apples. Throw I some peaches in there. I thought those were tomatoes. Peaches? Alright, where's the peaches? Furnish your plant. Perfect. Mike says you guys are the best. I love you. I love you, Mike. I love you too, Axel. You guys are great. I walk inside the house. Or, I walk inside and the house is dark. Save for the sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Ah. I knock lightly on the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera, editing photos. Hey, Amanda. Amanda swivels around in her chair to face me and slumps down. So, what's mm. up? Dad, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Wait, no. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. Amanda collapses on the floor. I promised myself I'd never let it come to this. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. <laughs> Spike it down. Like Axel's dick pic to a non. You're a monster. I know. I should have let it. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. <laughs> He's going to close the stream. Just wait till he hears what I just said. Huh. Amanda and I boil pasta and heat up a so heat up sauce in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up sauce while Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. Mm -hmm. How was record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? Huh? No way. Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight, and it was amazing. Hey! He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah brought it up or i brought it up that he should play at the open mic night that's happening in his coffee shop but he got kind of weird about it hey i saw a flyer for that we should go it's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple of tunes there hmm. yeah let me break out my glockenspiel i think i only know hot cross buns but we can work off of the chord progression what's hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Never heard of it. I learned how to play that on the harmonica once. Hmm. 
Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. They're staging an intervention for the house hunter who is crying uncontrollably over the colors of the walls. They know that they can paint the walls of their house. They know they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? Our viewership went down. I think Axel actually left. Aww. That song is stuck in my head all night. Hey! Thanks, Bruce, for the 95 bits! Take complete! What'd we get? What'd we get? Oh! Look how big that is! Dad nap, automotive, automotive hair. Yeah, another B. Another B! Why can't we get an A? Why can't we get the D? Hey! Chad, I'm coming for you. Love me. I don't know who Chad is. Well, it's been a long day. You can hot cross my buns anytime. Mwing. Back south 2019. You're the only active streamer I want to give my bits to. Aww. Oh, baby. Thanks, Bruce. You want to see some cleavage? Apparently, that's what all the streamers do these days. Totally. All right, see you later, John. Thanks for hanging out. You have a good night, my dude. Bye. Also, I still need someone to sub slash resub to you. Well, it's the beginning of the month. Um, so I think any day now, Anon and Dulors is going to go up. And I think Matt's will go up. And I think Matt uses Prime. So you might see that soon. I'll try and let you know. Just about ready to pack it in after How a few you? bites of ice. Later. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? <laughs> I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. Crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> in the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Obviously, we're pushing. We're dad. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Go away. Hey! Dulor gifted a sub to Axel. Well, thanks, Dulor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really funny. That is beautiful. Also, look at this amazing shimmy artwork, by the way. This is all shimmy. Unfortunately, her signature's down here, and you can't really see it, but it's there. Yeah. Amanda. Get out. Okay, okay. <laughs> I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. Wow. What has her so upset? She seemed fine earlier. She's usually so open with me. Did, did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she, she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. Hmm. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? Uh, no. Yeah, she is definitely you. Yeah. She is. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? 
Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Ooh. Okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. <sighs> I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes the beanline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. I'm sad because you're not dating Chad. Man. I didn't know Creed's girlfriend was here. Why not? Who's Chad? What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong and I can't even get and I can uh, bleh, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I So just whatever it is, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. But whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Oh. Honey. Yeah. You know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully, the frosting is set by now. Ta-da! Damn. It took me a really long time because I ran out of the red frosting somewhere around. It's sad and had to start over and... <laughs> this is beautiful. It's strawberry. smash the headphones into me yep amanda gives me a big ol' hug i grab some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cake oh, we're gonna make rice krispie treats tomorrow so it's really stupid what is this whole thing i know i've been really weird lately and there's just i don't even know how to explain it i feel like i might have to make you a chart ah i love flow charts I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Uh, I guess I should start from the top. So, you know Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R? The one who puked in Dead Goth and Beyond? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, that was me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? I thought you were Emma P. Dad, are you doing okay? I'm getting legit worried. I've been doing a lot of gluing and varnishing in unventilated spaces. Carry on. Ah, anyways. Ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M. that both of the Emmas, Gracie and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie S. on the same night they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Yikes. Oh. So... Another important piece of information is, uh, god this is embarrassing, I, uh, have a crush on Noah. And, uh, that's the thing. What? What? Whoa, whoa, wait. Uh, I, I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from the worst. Ah. Uh. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing, because they didn't want to start drama, so I just keep quiet and keep going about my business. Amanda sighs. <sighs> and then one day I invite everybody out to go get nachos at the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're, br all say they're busy, like, simultaneously. 
So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. I uh, identify on many levels. So I go to the mall anyway. I get to the food court and who do I see there? But Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out and eating nachos without me. What? It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No. <laughs> yes. I know. So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt, because of course she does, and Emma R just, like, glares at me. Grace, Grace. Uh, nothing's coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the, uh, did she poop the bed too? Hmm. No, dad, please stick with me. Grace is the one nobody really likes, or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck, which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to the shady day, and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR asking how long the Noah thing's been going on, and sorry I know that's a lot, you still following? What did MR say? Yeah, I'm totally following. Oh, okay, get a load of this. MR says, you know what, let me just read it to you. This is so me. Yep. A hundred percent. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads word for word an arduously long string of text messages. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest to be supportive. Oh, no. They were dating in secret for, like, months. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on red. And then... Wait, left me on red? What's what's that? I don't even know what you do to me sometimes. Intentionally now. I don't know my accidents. I said now, like, from now on. Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are read receipts. Read receipt? Read yeah. receipt, I don't know. I don't know what a read receipt, what read receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. <laughs> And out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? And he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. Alright, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. Oh, there's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me, half my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Hmm. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but... Oh. Mr. has been there since Mom died. I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. Great, 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 great. I can't take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like... What did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected, I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Ah. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Same channel, same time? Don't touch that dial. Wow. I know it's pretty dumb. Hey, it's definitely not dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess.
Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long, long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly dino wisdom. Yeah. When you get older, you start realizing the sort of people you want to associate yourself with. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It takes a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful uh, bleh, meaningful friendships. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. If you're not beholden to being their friend. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing, and if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. Huh. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? <laughs> yes, we did just eat that whole cake. That was a big cake. Well, good talk. I'm gonna regret that. Amanda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes her door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yeah? Huh. Thank you. You are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. Aww. Bitch stole my line. <laughs> welcome. You've got dads. All right. Do we want to try someone else, or do we want to go back to Matt? I don't know. What what is uh, what is our, our our seven viewers think? What are you feeling, guys? Oh, I threw some cherries in at the end. Wait. And who's he got the headset to? Where's Mike? I want to hear drunk Mike. I want to talk to drunk Mike. Well, we we know that Dulor is going to vote on Chad. Different guy. Ellen says different guy. How far are we along with Matt, anyway? Two stars. Also, if we don't do him next, does that mean that we miss out on the open mic night? The question was, which gentleman should we go after next? Should we go for Matt again, or go on a date with a different dad? Joseph's got the creepy kids. Yes, he does. The two creepy twins. Mm -hmm. Craig Stanfield. Our best friend from college. We could also always try to get it on uh, Amanda's teacher's good side. Oh yeah, Hugo. I think that's a good idea. Maybe he can help sort out some of the drama at school. Maybe. They're all voting Craig Stan though. Uh, okay, if we're all voting Craig Stan, we can go for Craig. He's got the cute baby, so... He does have a cute baby that he goes jogging with. So let's read his bio. Dad of three, business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. On a Friday night, you are most likely to... Get one last good cardio session in. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? A box of energy bars. What are your six turn-ons? What are your six turn-ons? What are your turn-ons? A sub-six-minute mile. What did you want to be when you grew up? Beer pong world champion. Wow. What a toxic child. What's your favorite movie genre? Buddy cop movies <coughs> forever. What's your ideal date? Scaling a huge, dangerous mountain for fun. I'm gonna die. Why, uh, what do you never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. What's energy gel? Is that like a fancy term for lube? No, I'm gonna assume you eat it and it gives you energy. I hope so. But maybe you rub it on yourself and it gives you energy. I don't know. Spend a lot of time thinking about? My mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? He is so self-absorbed. All right, ready to message Craig Stand? Yeah, I guess so. We're going in. You get whatever job you want, just make sure it includes health insurance. Amen. I wonder what Craig's up to today. 
navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. <laughs> hey bro, or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a midget from, it's a midget, a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man. No, that's not him. He's more surfer dude. What's surfer dude? I don't know. Bro, bro. No. Can you do it? You can't do surfer dude? This music sounds like Terraria. <clears throat> Bruh, my man. Let's definitely hang soon, dude. Might be a little di- Now he's southern. <laughs> sure, we'll roll with it. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it's still fun. <laughs> Exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. Oh, I should see if Amanda wants to join me. Huh. Walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece or ransom note. What you working on? Hmm. Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. Take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Huh? It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? So you. Mine would have more cats. But if you found a bunch of cute dogs, you would totally Maybe include cats. a lot of dogs. Greg invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Oh. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first day game? And then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. Uh, I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient ball. So, does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Wow. Maybe she's not you. Rude. <laughs> Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Ugh. So when do the kids start crying and running off the field? <laughs> you know, you know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Yeah, yeah so Definitely she's not, not you. The game starts Maybe. and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has River strapped to his chest, as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot? Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I can see that the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewoods. Or Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks? I don't know. I can't remember Surfer Dude voice. Check up on the bat, Miranda. I don't know Surfer Dude <laughs> That sounded more like unenthused goth kid. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. I don't. Yeah, Miranda, square up. How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite <laughs> their name. Huh? But yelling is fun. Yeah. Give it a shot. It's cathartic. <sighs> yes. Leave it all out on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're gonna have to bleed for it. Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't gonna bring Miranda to D1. Dad, please don't fight any of their dads while we're out here. 
watch a couple of innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Keg stand Craig is good with Craig children. Stan. Whoa. Huh. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Hmm, let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up to bat. They hit a fly ball out into center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. What? See, it's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs, with the baby strapped to his chest still. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. It's impressive. Can I backflip off a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer? You do have to, Doc. I feel like the centrifugal force of the flip would keep the beer in the can. You will hurt yourself? Probably. The game resumes after the girl calms down a, a bit, and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Close my eyes and brace for impact. Saving. Uh-oh. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Hey. I caught the ball. You saved me. Yeah. I caught the ball. Dad, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Throw it at your friends. Try it. I have a pool and a deck at roof height if you do. I mean, she does. Do not do it. I'm coming over in the summer. No, he's not. I'm coming over in the summer. I mean, he can come over, but if he jumps off that deck, I'm burning it to the ground. I'm backflipping off that deck into the pool while shotgunning a beer. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. Can you even shotgun a beer? Yeah. Really? I shotgunned a soda once. That was a bad idea. I'm sure I could shotgun a beer. Okay. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Yo, when are you going down? I'll be there. I gotta see this. Summertime, Dulor. Summertime. Craig's team is declared the victor. What did I say? No, Craig apostrophe's team is declared the winner, the victor. hurts great job everyone oh wait great job everyone a little better that? i don't know it's a little better you don't have to be lonely at farmers only dot com i should go get on there right now yeah make some farmer friends we should stream that get some free uh corn maybe We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks, we've been working hard all season and it's great to see it paying off. I've just given up on his voice at this point. Yeah, it's fine. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Are they his? Hello! Hey, killer playing out there. It's not Amanda, or Miranda, whatever her name was. I know. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Hmm. Good looking out. <laughs> oh. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff. When people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. Hold on. What? Mike. I love you too. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Get some good rest. And I'll catch you later. Also, let Axel do one more body shot off of you. 
Also, please drink some water. And eat some bread. Drink some water. And go to sleep on your side if you need to. Yeah, not on your back. Oh. Axel will take care of it. Axel makes a good mom. We will talk about this later. Mm. Steve, bro. Steve, bro. I just got a couple more things to just default to Southern. I, I can't help it. On. Just got a couple more things to clean up and then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. God. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration would we have without our fearless leader? He drank plenty of water and had pizza since there's no bread here. Night night, guys. Night Thank night, Axel. You. <laughs> Axel makes a good ma. Good quote. Quote 107. She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Oh. 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 comes along. Oh. This mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Hmm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? <laughs> what? What? Huh. What? It's a real place. Yeah. Thirsty's Pizza. Yeah. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and in into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. We should go to uh, uh, Hungry Pear Pizza sometime. Okay. It's a pizza buffet. It's got an arcade in there, too. Maybe we should just go get pizza and then go to the arcade. We could do that as a break between movies on Saturday. I mean, Friday. We could. We'll see. We'll see. Reminds me of the of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Oh. Oh. Why does he do that? Remember how he used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside oh it? My oh God. my gosh, that sounds, that sounds amazing. amazing. Ah, pizzacos. I could never forget. <laughs> how did we survive college? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Our bodies were younger back then. Oh, much more okay, elastic. You sound like you're like an axe murderer. Speaking of axe murderers, there's a new season of Law & Order SVU out that we should watch. A new season? Yeah on Netflix. You don't have to like know the story or anything. Okay. I've never seen Shh, it's okay. Law and Order SVU. I mean, I've seen some of their episodes, but I never like followed it. Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside us. <laughs> How's that for his voice? The good old days. Or your na late night needs. Oh no. Open oh, up. that's just us going, oh, is it? We need to hear this. Amanda and I share a look. Oh. 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 comes along. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Dear Lord, this is exactly what I expect. Thank you. You never disappoint me. Oh my god. 
the kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Oh. Hello. Hey, give me that pizza. Oh. oh I'm sorry. Hey, give me a piece of that. Get it? What? No, absolutely not. Oh. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Oh. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? Dad. A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day how great you are. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. It definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm, oh, I'm so sure glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Are people really like this? I hope not. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? He'll get it from one angle. Uh-huh. From oh. the back. Craig smiles sheepishly. Huh. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. That was really awful. I could I hold it up to fist bump and you're just like God hurt my arm. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. I'll give him a bone. Oh yeah, heck yeah, tag team with Amanda. I give Amanda another knowing look and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Oh. Dad, I don't feel too good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie. You're not projectile vomit everywhere, are you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> Back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone, and I drank a lot of orange juice this morning, and it's feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con is going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. Ah. Well, if I had known it was a puke scam, I wouldn't have chosen it. Uh, well, I guess it went away, and I'm fine now, and nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Hmm. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I can always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Director's cut. We need to hear this. Amanda and I share a look. Just clipped us oh, listening oh, to it. <laughs> We're literally clipceptioning everything. <laughs> Tell me you just got us watching it. Director's commentary. That's amazing. Of course, but I can always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything or anyone. Wow, this lady is really going for the gold. Hey. <laughs> Uh, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention toward her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine, I swear if we have to buy it. Martha storms off towards her kid. Toward. Thank you. You're welcome. It I've upsets never me any more in love with you. <laughs> It upsets me anytime I see Thank someone you. say towards toward. And it's not toward. backwards, it's backward. Backward. Forward. Afterward. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah. Team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Oh. Phew. I, fi I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Should have just thrown him a bone. Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! Hmm. 
Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us be a record on DVR? This is all you. I cannot dance. We told Arnie and his dad you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. We're going to have to press these buttons. Oh, God, I am. All right. Because I can't do it. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad. Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Oh. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Go with him. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with Mom. Oh, are we not going to do it? Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Huh. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Oh, sorry. He asked if you wanted to drop some change. Hmm. You know it. I'm glad you're a speed reader. Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. Should I pull it over? Oh, no, it's fine. We'll get that later. Okay. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. Sounds like me in getting and beating Michael's high score and like, You still have to beat Jason's. You have to knock him off the board. I thought I did. I thought it was Michael's score that was higher. So you beat the highest score, but Jason's still third, I think. Oh. So you have to get first again. Well, shoot. Next time I come over, I'll just... Yeah. Okay. Destroy. No problem. You're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronize me. Hey. Just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, and I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Oh, God. Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Oh, please don't lean on my thing. Huh, that's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, uh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Hmm. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he, <sighs> lady, I swear to God. <laughs> All of a sudden, a oh, buzzer sounds and the game it. is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Whoa. You stone harpy. What? I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Dude. Bro. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Now's our chance, bro. We don't get out of here now. We're stuck for the rest for, for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out. We head out of the pizza place finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Hmm. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Oh my god, I know who you sound like when you do that. Who? Oh, you sound like the guy who runs the fossil shop in Webkins. I'd not for the gym polishing shop in Webkins. Looks like you found yourself a gym. You can keep it if you like. Looks like you found yourself a gym. You can keep it if you like. And try for that legendary crown of wonder. And try for that legendary crown of wonder. I could buy it from wonder. you if you like. <laughs> Not, Not at all. all. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll let you do it. I'm sorry. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. <laughs> well, almost all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, man. Gosh darn it, I lost it. Yeah, you, did. you made me revert back to the southern. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Oh, she was blowing a bubble. Oh. 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 That one was weird. <laughs> you didn't fall for it a third time, I see. Well done. I almost did, but then Cody told me we'd watch it later. Yeah. No, I knew better. <laughs> <laughs> Up for some catch. This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but... Comma! <laughs> In the quotation marks. But sure. 
would stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Mm. I have a cooler. I have a cool. Oh God. It's like I'm lost it because of that stupid gem merchant. I have a cooler in the back of my car we could grab. There's only juice boxes in there. I was planning Man. on flipping until you both finally stopped watching it. Man, father. Man, fatherhood is strange. Do we hear skeletons? We need to hear this. Gonna have to not share a look. Oh. Oh. Exceptioning everything. <laughs> Just for you, Dulor. <laughs> Man, fatherhood is strange. Hmm. You're telling me, bro. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. Craig Stan, man. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. This sounds like a pothead now. It's all right. I haven't probably hung out with Craig and Craig. Craig, wow. Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Hi. Sober and up there? How are you? Did you drink some water for me? Okay, Mike. Here's the deal. I want you to get one glass of water. And I want you to drink it in the next, like, 20, 25 minutes. Okay? Craig is bae. Craig is bae. Ask about the kids. All right. Well, ask about the kids. <gasps> I can't believe you're a father of three. Mm -hmm. Neither can I, man. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You have to scub through all that audio in order to get the timing right. Did you record that last one? Because I think that was good. I think that was gold. Or best yet. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait for the fifth one. You switched your major four times. If I drink more water, I'll probably get Okay, sick. then don't drink water right now and lay on your side. Projectile vomit, Mike. Aim for Axel. Yep. Good. You'll clean it up. Don't worry. I've been listening to <laughs> you mode for like two minutes. <laughs> I love you, Dylan. <laughs> sound or whatever. <laughs> oh shoot. I forgot I have to add the uh quotation marks? No, I have to add the gosh darn it date what is today today is the mm -hmm. there we go oh it ought to be gosh It added the date. You switched your major four times. Oh. I'm not capitalizing anything. You didn't capitalize it, so it stays true. Yeah, man. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, bro. But raising kids when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. We got southern again, I know. Hey, thanks, Kane, for the resub. Welcome back thanks, to the adventure, Kane. my dude. Hello. Daddy time. I sure hope Bruce had that thing turned on. I kind of want somebody to like splice together every time I jump when something happens, just to like <laughs> watch me react. <clears throat> All the Margos. 
here all. Oh, nope, that's wrong. Yeah, that works. Craig is my daddy. I think he's definitely got a dad kink. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling that Amanda was born. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me and I'd still be proud of the life I lived. Ask about the business. So, you run a business now? Well. Yeah, we all or we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. Hmm. You ever need athletic gear, man? I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Mm -hmm. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to, yes. Oh, baby. You can be rough. So is softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Hmm. Ha, I'll admit, I was hesitant, the, the, hesitant at first. Brian and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. I'd also be afraid of a bunch of children with tiny metal bats. Tiny children with metal bats. Yeah, I know. I noticed that for a second. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Velociraptors. Uh, exactly. Hmm. It's nice out here. Quiet. It must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit. Oh, Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Oh. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. I don't know. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in, then? Your oh. dick. Oh. Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. Dude! My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Hmm. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's, there's just no time. What's this one, Dulor? Man, fatherhood is strange. <laughs> we need to hear this. <laughs> Amanda and I care a lot. <laughs> oh. I, I love how it's like oh. drag, 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 drag. Oh. 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 <laughs> This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally clipceptioning everything. <laughs> Just for you, Dulor. Just for you, Dulor. <laughs> Just for you, Dulor. <laughs> oh, look, he got the little kiss in there. Man, Father had a strange. Yeah, he did. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. I'm proud. I think we've made art. I think so. This is good. I really gotta blow my nose.
Dulor, why are you telling us to die? Wow, <laughs> rude. Rude Make hero. That three minutes. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear ya. Oh. Okay, good. I'm still in frame. So, the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. You're still in frame, too. You're good. Hit softballs. Don't get hit on by moms. Um, I think you're doing a great job. Those kids love you. Oh, sorry, this is you. I'm sorry. Stepping on my line. Look, you did it before. Those kids love you. Rum and, and to add to that whole team, and to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you've got this dad thing down right. Oh. God, I want hot dogs. Me too. Maybe we should make a late night trip for some hot dogs. I think we have some in the. We could have dino nuggets, mac and cheese, and brontosaurus dogs. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> that means a lot coming from you. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball and <laughs> hits me right on the head. Right here in the noggin. Wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Oh. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Hmm. Are you okay? Stares into my eyes. I stare back. Oh, it's so good. And I fart. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Wait, let me do that dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. I don't know. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Hey, you would be so lucky. That was planned. You probably didn't even teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth. Oh, I'm sorry, I stole your thing again. You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. Oh, God, that sounds painful. Huh, <laughs> maybe they'll learn in high school. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired, huh? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? Start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we've been to that got broken up by a helicopter? Bro! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get banned on Twitch. Look, I'm getting you new viewers. Look, you have eight now. I do. Welcome back, Bruce. You you left to go do a thing, and when I come back, my test program picked up the sud that happened while I was away. Awesome! Yay! I'm glad. We just walked straight past them like we were going out for a stroll. And not knowing that they were at that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for thirty minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. Nice. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. So, Bruce, does that mean um, I should go ahead and disable it, or... Fuck. Oh. 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 Good old days, right? Man, fatherhood is strange. Oh, he literally cannot make a longer clip unless we allow him to make highlights, so stop. Man, I do not care. How do I do that? Do I just make you a, uh... 
I, I love how it's like drag. Dra- I don't remember what it is, like an auditor or something. Oh. 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 O
So for lunch, we're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get you some wings and get me probably a nice burger and some french fries or steak fries or something. And perhaps between that and Critical Role, we can stream some Amnesia. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. So stay tuned for Amnesia tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Save? I'm going to save again. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you later. No, stop. Now you can say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Love you. <laughs> Thank you.